What's up, y'all? My name is Tech Boogie, and today I wanna to give y'all a really quick lesson on how to back up the photos and videos from your iPhone into your Mac computer or external hard drive. You guys ready? Let's jump into this. Let's go ahead and open up the Photos app on your computer. Let's go to Finder here to do that and go to the Applications folder and let's open up Photos. Great. Now you wanna plug in your iPhone into your computer and once you do that on the left side here under Devices, you should see your phone. So there's mine, <laughs> Return to the Mac. Let's click that and uh, unlock, so let's unlock my phone. All right, great. And now this is gonna take a little bit of time to load up, but it's gonna load all the photos and videos that are currently stored on your phone. So this might take a little bit of time, especially if this is your first time running this program. All right, now we got all of our photos and videos loaded into the gallery here. What we wanna do next is under Import 2 in the top middle, let's click that, let's hit New Album, so we can name this import if we wanna reference that in the future. So let's put today's date, why not? 1117 iPhone import. Great, hit create, all right. And really what we wanna do here, since we're creating space on the phone and backing up the photos and videos, we wanna hit delete items after import. That's gonna delete the files off your phone after you import them into the computer. Just make sure that's what you wanna do, okay? So hit delete items after import, great. And now under here, this shows I already imported a previous selection, but under new items, let's go ahead and select the first item that we want to back up onto the computer. And we can scroll down and I'm just gonna back up like a couple hundred images. So you wanna hold shift and select the last image you wanna back up. All right, those are selected here. And all we gotta do next is hit import selected up top. Or if we wanna clear out everything on our phone and start from scratch, hit import all items. But I'm just gonna import these, so let's hit import selected. So this is gonna take a little bit of time to do this. And while this is doing this, just a heads up, like the reason why I like to do this instead of going through iCloud is I prefer to back up my files onto something physical. So I like to back up my files to an external hard drive or I like to back up the files to my computer. I don't want to have to always upload all my photos and videos into the cloud every single time I take them just to get them off my phone to save space. So that's why I like to do it this way. But you know, if you prefer to do the iCloud and pay for that monthly, go ahead and do it that way, all right? So let's scroll down. I'm gonna actually open up that folder we made. So that should be this one and yeah. It looks like it's actually still loading. You can look at up here at the little bar, the little progress bar, click that, and this is the progress of that. Now, if you have a lot of photos and videos on your phone, this might take a long time. So be patient, go and get yourself, make yourself a cup of coffee or uh, go grab lunch with a friend and come back or run it overnight because you know this can take a long time. So I'm just gonna let this run and uh, I'll be back in a moment. All right, now since the import is complete, if you wanna export these files out of this album and actually put them onto your hard drive or computer as photos and videos, here's the last step you wanna take. So let's go to File at the top here and hit Export, Export Album. Now, if you don't have this drop down here, just hit this little carrot button and we'll select JPEG as our image types and then JPEG quality, let's hit high. Movie quality, if you have video files, I like to have minus 1080p. I don't necessarily need to have 4K videos saved on my computer, but you can select 4K, just know it's gonna take a lot longer for those files to copy down. So I'll hit 1080p, great, and let's hit export. Okay, now we'll select the folder that we want these to go into. So you can select wherever you wanna go, whether you want it to be on your desktop or if you want it to be on your external hard drive. I have an external hard drive here selected and I'm gonna make a folder for these. So let's hit new folder. Great, iPhone backup new. Let's hit create. All right, that's selected and then we're gonna hit export. And we'll just wait for this to finish. It might take a long time, depending on how many photos and videos you have. So just be aware, once again, take a little break. So we should be finished with the export. Now let's just go into Finder and double check that all our files are there. So let's go to Finder here. Let's open up where I saved the files. So it was under Zoom Zoom, under my external hard drive, iPhone backup new, and let's check it out. There we go. There's all of our images and videos cleared out of our phone and put into our computer. Thanks so much for watching my video, y'all. If you like how I'm doing things, 
please subscribe to my page and hit that bell notification so the algorithm can pump the boy up and more people can know about what I'm doing here. So really appreciate y'all. If you got any questions, shoot me a DM on Instagram at Tech Boogie, and I'm gonna catch y'all next time. Peace.